Welcome to How to Have Fun Outdoors. That's right, folks, your absolute outdoor adventure travel channel. And guess what? You think you've seen it all on our channel? Well, today we've got an unbelievable cruise. Everyone got sick. That's right, folks. We got into a huge storm and we were on a beautiful cruise from the Norwegian Pearl from Boston down to Bermuda. But little did we know there was a huge storm brewing below Cuba that came up through Florida that turned into 25 to 27 foot waves and we had ourselves all we could handle. Let's get started. Some of the wave heights as it approached Bermuda, 21 to 25 foot waves. Can you imagine 25 foot waves coming into the Tampa Bay area? That's astronomical. All right, so. Uh this is new tonight. Uh, Boston to Bermuda cruise has left the island paradise early because the newly named tropical storm Alex is heading that way. Norwegian Cruise Lines has confirmed for WBZ that the Norwegian Pearl departed the island earlier today. The ship left Boston on Friday and had just arrived on the island today, meaning passengers just got a few hours on dry land. But the deteriorating weather conditions would not allow the ship to remain in port. So let's go ahead and get started. We were having a great time departing out of Boston to Bermuda on the Norwegian Pearl. And boy, were we excited about this trip because we brought along our entire YouTube crew and some friends. So we had 15 people, that's right, that we paid for to get on this cruise ship and to talk about our 2023 strategy for how to have fun outdoors and how to have fun cruising YouTube channels and our brand new channel, Gadgets in 60. So with that, we pulled everybody together. We were having fun dancing. We had shows. We had all kinds of good stuff going on on our first day. While this very same time, there was announcements of this big storm heading our way. But nobody was paying attention. Everybody was in the pool having a good time. Until then, when Aliche decided to call a meeting on this storm. So we pulled everybody together in the conference room. There's Aliche to talk about what were the next steps. And to, little to our knowledge did we know that this storm was gonna be as big as it, it was. That's right, folks. You're gonna see some monster waves, water going over the 13th floor. We've got the video of it. But for now, everybody was just hanging out, eating some uh, Japanese steakhouse, having a good time. Nobody took it serious, out dancing on the floor, having a great time on the Norwegian Pearl. And Aliche was loving it. And even she was like, forget the storm. Let's have a great time and have some fun on this cruise. But while we were doing this, the storm kept brewing bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the very next morning, take a look, folks. That's right. 15 people were down to six people and everybody was getting sick on the ship. The waves got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the next thing you know, things got scary. That's right, folks. We've got video next of water going over the 13th floor. We've got it on video. Let's go take a look at this experience. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. This is really awesome. And the camera just, I mean, those are like 30 footers, man. Look at the size of those. What I do you know. think? I know, it's so like, <laughs> this is like a fiction movie. Yeah? <laughs> what do you guys think? Exactly. Is it amazing? I'm so excited, I like it. <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> what do you think of that, Sarab? <laughs> crazy? crazy? Wow, wow. Oh, look at that sad. solid white. What do you think, Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, what do you think, buddy? It's very interesting. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, that's wild. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how big that yeah. swell is right Dude, there. Thrown like, thrown around like a speck. Look at that. Yeah. You ever seen anything like this? No, I never experienced something like this. This is uh -huh. uh, out of the box cool. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bermuda Triangle. Look at the size yep. of those swells. Look at this one. Look at that. Whoa. Look how high. Look at... Whoa. So the waves got bigger and bigger. We weren't even at the peak of the storm yet, folks. 
and the waves just continue to grow. And you're gonna see towards the end of this film, the bow of the ship and water from the upper deck is you'll see going over the 13th floor. It is pretty crazy. So nobody knew how bad it would get. They had to clear all the chairs, all the decks up top and you were only allowed to view from the inside. But before that, take a look at the view from this room. It's pretty crazy when the door closes itself. Look at that swell. Whoa, look at that. Wow, did you see the door was going again? What do you think of this, huh? This is awful. Huh? <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Depth of the sea is 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet. We have traveled 185 nautical miles or 212 land miles from Bermuda, and we still have 188 nautical miles or 215 land miles to go back to Bermuda. Oh, did you feel that? What the hell? What was that? A whale. Yeah. Yeah, the whale. Whoa, look at that TV. Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just a little bizarre. Wow. So as you could see, it was quite the storm and we were all feeling really happy that we made our way back to Bermuda to get one more day on the island that we didn't expect. But overall, to see the water flow over the 13th floor was truly magical and probably a once in a lifetime experience. So even though we didn't have the weather or all the activities we had hoped for, it was an experience that we'll never forget, for sure. So as you could see from the beginning of the video, they were clearly about 25 foot waves. And when you look at the height of the front bow, and then you look at the height of the 13th floor on the Norwegian Pearl, it seems uncomprehendable that the water could get that high. But you're going to see, we got very lucky and we watched the water go over the 13th floor. And the waves were just amazing. How do you say waves in Italian, Alice? Onde? Okay, on day. Yeah. So you've got your Italian word for the video, and let's go check out these amazing waves from the 13th floor. Right here. Here we go. Wow, look at that. Wow. 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 You see that, Alicia? Whoa. 
all the way up here. Wow. Wow. That was above us. What floor are we on? 13. We got above 13. Look at that. <laughs> are you ready for one more time? Let's take a look at this on replay slow-mo. So you can see here over the 13th floor, I challenge all of your cruisers Next time you're on a cruise ship, go up to the 13th floor, look down, and imagine water going that high. Unfortunately, the video, the pictures, it just can't do it justice. But clearly you can see here how high the water got. And let's hear it for the captain and the crew. They did an amazing job with all the passengers on the ship. And let's hear it for the passengers. They hung in there really, really well. Overall, it's very rare to have this kind of situation on a cruise ship. Been cruising for many, many years and have never seen anything like it. Motion sickness occurs when your brain can't make sense of information sent from your eyes, ears, and body. Lots of motion in a car, airplane, boat, or even an amusement park ride can make you feel queasy, clammy. So definitely a few tips, you know, definitely eat your green apples. They've got all kinds of seasick pills and different patches that you can wear. We highly recommend all of them. But for the most part, these modern boats in the Caribbean, you don't have to worry. It's when you get into the Atlantic or on Alaskan cruise where you have chances for more of this. So overall, we hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I don't see this happening on your cruise, but we wanted to show you what can happen, and uh, it was definitely a crazy adventure. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so we can bring you more adventures like this, and thank you for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors.